Our investigation centered on a bowl of one-ton noodle soup. Specifically, what toxic ingredients are today tainting such a simple dish? At this wholesale market, Wang Zhichang, a chef of 20 years, takes me to buy illegal additives, ones he says restaurants commonly use to cheat consumers. Many of the mixtures inside these bottles have been found to contain toxic industrial chemicals like melamine. Most also don't have labels listing ingredients, which is against the law. In his kitchen, Wang uses the additives from the market to whip up a fake bowl of wonton noodles. To substitute for real meat, he adds water to a white powder, along with coloring and flavoring. Wang says this artificial stew is five times cheaper than one made with natural ingredients. These vendors are blinded by greed. They put profit above all other things. And it's not only food vendors. On one farm, researchers show us pesticides banned in the 1980s still being used. Some are so lethal, they've killed chicks on the spot. And on this pig farm, we find shells of pharmaceuticals. Their overuse in China is leading to bacteria resistant to medicine. The government has been trying to get tougher on the amount of antibiotics as well as growth hormones being used in farm animals. But as you can see here, this whole shelf is full of it. The farmer who suddenly appears admits to even more illegal practices. If it's a sick pig, it's definitely going to the market. If it's a dead pig, there's a chance it will go to the market as well. In recent years, police have arrested and charged more than 10,000 people for selling tainted toxic food. They're also passing a tougher food law and say they're doing all they can. Our challenge inspection chiefs from the U.S., the EU, the U.K. or elsewhere to try and tackle the Chinese market. I don't think they would dare to. But it's now a global concern, as made in China food is increasingly being exported. As for the fake bowl of wonton soup, lab tests show it contained illegal and harmful chemicals like formaldehyde, an embalming fluid, and borax, a bleaching agent. It's so toxic when pure that just a teaspoon can kill a child. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, Guangzhou, China.